This familiarisation video has been developed to help trained, powered access operators understand how to use Sky Siren PCS. The video is based on the Sky Siren PCS operator's manual. Please refer to the manual for any further queries. While every effort is made to ensure that the information provided is accurate and up to date, Nationwide Platforms accepts no liability for reliance on the contents of this video, which has been produced for guidance only and is not intended to replace the MUP manufacturer's manual. Sky Siren PCS alerts operators to potential entrapment by detecting hazards before contact occurs. This greatly reduces the risk of reportable incidents, injury or death from entrapment. Sky Siren PCS comprises Sky Siren pressure sensitive strip in eight sensors housed in three separate modules. These sensors constantly scan the areas close to the operator and would detect many objects that could constitute a potential entrapment hazard and stop the MUP if an object encroaches within a defined sensing zone. PCS won't see everything. Do not rely on it as it does not replace adequate training or MUP selection. The operator must remain aware of his surroundings. Sky Siren PCS Daily Checks Perform the MUP daily checks in accordance with the MUP operator's instructions. Once completed, Proceed with the Sky Siren PCS daily checks in accordance with the operator's manual. Check the mute horn is operational. The horn acts as an alarm to alert people at ground level of an entrapment situation, so it is vital that before using the mute, it is proved to be working. If the horn is not working, the mute should be removed from service with immediate effect and the fault reported to the hirer or owner. Physical checks. On completing the daily checks for the MUP and before operating, please check the Sky Siren PCS system. Ensure that there are no visible signs of damage to any part of the system, including the upward facing sensor module, both rear facing sensor modules, all wiring connections and fittings, sensitive edge, and under basket light. Function Turn on the MUP as normal. The status lights on the UFS and reset button should display green. To test Sky Siren, press the foot switch and apply pressure to the sensitive strip. The mute function should be disabled. The horn should sound intermittently, two beeps every three seconds. The LED within the reset button should change from solid green to flashing red. After approximately 10 seconds, the full entrapment alarm will sound and the blue warning light will flash. Remove pressure from the sensitive strip and press the reset button. Full mute function should be restored and the LED should turn solid green. To test PCS, hold the operating manual approximately 40 centimeters above one of the upward facing sensors. The status light should change to flashing amber and the corresponding sensor LED should illuminate blue. Press the foot switch the status light should change from flashing amber to flashing red and an alarm will also sound. If PCS does not function as described, repeat the test. If the test continues to fail, refer to Section D, Part 4. Operating Procedure Sky Siren PCS is automatically enabled when the foot pedal is pressed and disabled when the foot pedal is released. A green status light is displayed on the upward facing sensor module to indicate everything is OK. Please note that the MUPE's lift capacity will be reduced by the weight of PCS, which is 5 kg in total. If an object enters the sensing zone, the MUPE functions will stop and the status light will change to flashing amber. A blue LED will appear on one or more of the sensor modules indicating that a sensor on the module has triggered. If it is safe to do so, MUPE operations can be continued by first recycling the foot switch. The status light will flash red and an alarm will sound to alert the user they are operating in the sensing zone. If the operator then moves out of the sensing zone, the status light will turn green and operation of the MUPE continues as normal. 
In the unlikely event of an entrapment situation, the Sky Siren pressure sensitive strip automatically stops the MUP, preventing further crushing. Identifying a PCS fault. If a fault develops within the PCS system, the status light will remain solid red. In some cases, the status light will flash between red and amber to also indicate a fault. The reset button on the Sky Siren Sensitive Edge module will flash a sequence of green then red flashes. This is called a flash code. In the event of a flash code, recycle the platform e-stop to reboot the system. If the red status light and flash code still occurs, the mute should be returned to the ground and removed from service with immediate effect, and the fault reported to the hirer or owner. The sequence of green and red flashes shown on the Sky Siren reset button should be noted and relayed when reporting the fault. Thank you for watching this familiarisation video. If you require technical support, please contact 0845 745 000 and select option 2. If you are in any doubt over the safe operation of this machine, do not continue. Please consult your supervisor. IPATH training is available from nationwide platforms by calling 0845 745 000 or visiting nationwideplatforms.co.uk forward slash training.